Coach. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome here. If you are new, gonna keep the intro short and sweet. Okay, so this vlog, I'm gonna do a couple of days of me just preparing to go on my trip, packing. I think I'm gonna show you guys like a little content area DIY. I also have a makeup video coming, not gonna be in this one, but it's probably gonna be somewhere around this time. And then I did a skincare routine nighttime when I'm taking off my makeup in this video. Um, so, oh, that scared me. <laughs> Somebody's calling me. So, there we go. So, yes, I'm super excited to be back vlogging again. Like I said, this wouldn't be a long intro. So, let's go ahead and hop into it. I'm actually about to go in here and pack now. So, I'm going to add that part into this vlog as well. So, let's do it. Hopefully I got this right, okay? So, it is 2.51. Oh, I forgot my water. I'm getting ready for my, oh, I gotta get used to looking at the camera and not the viewfinder. So, I'm actually getting ready for my meeting. I told you all last week that I was gonna meet with some video editors. So I have that at three o'clock. So I'm about to do that. It's 2.52. Um, I have to make sure I got Google Meet. I'm going to do it on my other phone. I'm pretty sure I got it. This is the point in having a secondary phone to do most of my business meetings. So, um, still clearly have on my bonnet. Yes, this is thrifty. You see her. You see her. So, I want to soak off my nails. And I actually just did these at the end of the last vlog. But I want to soak them off for my trip. We're going to do it like that. The only thing, like I told y'all about this viewfinder, is it goes off after a certain amount of time. So, I'm just not sure how I feel about that. But, um, what camera did y'all choose? I have to go look at the comments because I need to see what camera y'all chose for me to vlog on. I was in school, so let me make sure y'all can see. I was in school though, so I was more active. And that was 2016, so it's like, girl, that was a little ways ago, seven years ago, okay? But I'm like, oh yeah, we definitely, we gonna work back down to that. I'm not rushing it. Cause we're ready. Let's see what it's giving. I'm talking to my auntie so I got her on mute and I'm listening um the meeting went really well we start in September so I can produce more content and it can be professionally edited super excited okay so I am about to do a quick little fun not really an unboxing but a little something something I got these black and white tiles it's like a faux fur um from Timu and I'm gonna do this area i'm just gonna make it like a picture wall uh don't mind Gigi playing with her toy but i'm currently waiting on amazon the car freshener came but i'm waiting for the car play adapter so once that is here i'm gonna do two tiktoks so one for the freshener my phone keeps going off one for the freshener one for the adapter um and then I'm also gonna do a Telfar unboxing. And um, what else? I forgot. 
I feel like it's something else. I don't know. Girl, what is it? Is it there talking about? So these are what the tiles look like right here. Faux fur, very soft. I think they're gonna be cute. So this is gonna go on the floor. Black, white, black, white, of course. And then um, on the wall, I just have some white stick tiles. And if I ever need this backdrop stand, I can always just put it together because it's not even like tightened. The bar is just sitting on it. I'll show y'all. But these, this is the white right here. So that's what that looks like. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so this is one of the reasons it's really good for a backdrop for the camera to do like unboxing. So I'm about to do that. And I guess I will show you all as. Oh boy. All right, y'all fail. So we're gonna bring you down. Good morning. So it's the 21st Tuesday and you won't see much of me today just because I will be filming for basically the next six hours. So I'm going to do Shein, Asaf, Forever 21, um, a makeup video, but that'll be just when I'm getting ready and I'll be reviewing the makeup at the same time. And also I said she, oh, maybe a lookbook. So she in February 21, Ace off a makeup video and potentially a lookbook. Lookbooks do take longer because styling videos just take longer in general. So that's why it's like the last thing I might do. Now, with all of that being said, you won't see much of me, as I mentioned, but I also have to get into the realization that for vlogs, it doesn't have to be every single, like every day in the week. You know, but that's the type of vlogs that I like to watch. I like to see, I'm nosy, right? I want to see what you're doing for the whole week, what you're doing what in depth, right? What does your life look like? But with vlogs, it doesn't have to be that. It can be, let's go grocery shopping. It can be Sunday self-care day, reset with me, clean up and give you a recipe. It doesn't have to be, this is what I'm doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now this week, you will be getting that. Um, like I said last week, I don't know if I mentioned, but last week I went through four hours of content to give you guys an hour vlog. And I didn't have a problem with that. You know, it took me maybe five or six hours to edit because I have to watch the full four hours and then I have to cut and speed up and add music and this, that, and a third. So now that I do have the video editors coming on board, I won't have to worry about that so much, but I still don't wanna have to give them hours and hours and hours of content to go through. So I'm trying to like really cut it down to the necessary parts of the vlog. I don't want too many ums and ahs and what was I saying? And you know, brain fog and all of that. 
So I am working on that as I get back into the rhythm of vlogging and not rambling so much. Like show what you're doing, not necessarily just say what you're going to do, if that makes sense. So this week's vlog, it will be like a daily just because of the trip and all that good stuff. But next week, it's just going to be a reset. So you might see two days out of my life where I come back from the trip. And I'm just cleaning up because I know after I film, I'm not going to have too much time to clean up my filming room and my beauty room once I pack because I'm throwing clothes around trying to pack clothes. So. Mom, leave me alone. I just want to be famous. Just want to be famous. All right, y'all. So I'm about to do a haul. I actually think I'm going to break these vlogs up. So this one is going to be a uh, pack with me kind of leading into leaving for Tennessee and then the next one is going to be the actual Tennessee trip just because I believe um, it's gonna have like some sponsor content so I don't know if I can do like my team will haul and all these other things I'm doing in this video and it'll be more interesting to have it kind of scaled down to like 20 minutes for the trip so this came in from Amazon and this is like a retractable and I honestly was doing the car last week and now I'm thinking I knew for a fact that this was going to be coming in and this is a retractable um, charger so I don't have to wrap up the cords and do them all neat like I had them literally this goes into the cigarette lighter or whatever we call it these days and yeah it is I'm trying to show y'all can't get the angle for some reason but it can be on a diagonal if you need it to be so yeah that's super cool now my favorite thing is being able to pull these cords out to charge your devices you got USB C I hope it's not a problem like it doesn't get stuck out and then you have iPhone so pull it out I'm gonna see how far it goes okay that's long enough now how do I get it in oh you just got to pull it a little bit all right and then ouch I hurt my knuckle let's open this Timo package. I love Timo. So these are the wall tiles. I don't know. Ugh, I need a step stool. I think it's upstairs. I don't know how many I would need, but this is one, two, how many are in here? Ten. Two, three, four, five of those then this is base um, I hope she don't mind me opening it but I want to see it <laughs> so this is a floor mat mom leave me alone I just want to be famous this in my head oh this is the toilet seat cover I don't really use these but I mean, this is interesting. I feel like it's not gonna stay that well. And the toilet is right next to the shower, so she probably won't need to put the other one down. Ow. They'll probably be in front of the sink. And then the shower curtain is here. Same print, like the marble type print. And then this is just like a black uh, jelly type in tub mat i don't really use in tub mats because i hate mold and i don't use all of the showers and stuff often i use the one in my room more often so i would hate to have these down like in the guest bathrooms and then they have mold and i don't even know so yeah i don't really use these but i know a lot of people do so these this was a cute find and then I got me a bunch of eyebrow razors. Got a bunch of those because I was running out. Actually, this is ripped. 
I didn't even peep it, but it's supposed to have like a zipper, but it's coming out here. I don't care, but that's that. I'm making a mess over here and I need to film over here soon. So then we have this here. These are actually for my Thrifty Slate orders um, for specifically lash orders to put these with those. Not all, but if people order like multiple or lash magazines, then I'm gonna include one of these lash apps. So I filmed this makeup look, trying out the new She Glam products. I think I showed y'all the products in my last vlog. Uh, this is, uh, these are wall collage kits and these are from my sister. So it's like 40 or 50 pictures and you just stick them on the wall and make a cute collage. This one is more boho plants. So you can see like the, it's an aesthetic, I guess you'll say. So that's that one. And I think the other one is like pink. But these are really inexpensive and it's a really nice way to do like a wall art collage. So that's that one. I think this one is pink. Let me look. Yeah, so. And they have little stickies. That's cool to stick them up on a wall. This one is pink. I want to kind of see it. I love it. I can't wait to do her room. I'm going to do it when I come back from Tennessee. Oh, can y'all see? Oh, no, y'all really can't. <laughs> but super cute okay but that's the pink i don't know if we're gonna mix and match them or do one area with the pink one area with the boho but it's gonna be really cute nonetheless she's gonna have a canopy bed she's gonna have a study area her study area is gonna double as her vanity to get ready for school and stuff um and then she's gonna have a book nook so i can always put like the pink stuff in her study area and the boho stuff in her book nook i just don't know what i'm gonna do with it yet but i'm just really excited and i know she's excited too i want to say her last thing was her dresser and it was delivered today her dresser and her nightstand so really excited but that's gonna be like a two or three day project so i can't do that this week lastly I have a bunch of press on nails. So this is bothering me, my hair. I love French. So I get a bunch of different French tips to see which one I would like better because not all Frenches are made the same. Like I soaked off the last ones. These are for Halloween, the screen design another French but a little bit longer y'all know I don't really do super long nails anymore another type of French and same vibe like you can see the colors are way different when it comes to the base of the French this is probably going to be for my Renaissance lookbook I'm not really sure because um, I wanted to do it before I left but I'm not doing it tonight just because I don't feel like I'm going to have that much time. That one, these are kind of messed up. <laughs> the box is really messed up. But it's just a white, like milky white, uh, long nail. And then these are a black French. A glitter French. Gold glitter. These are one of my favorites. They're not too long, but they're long. Just like that. Well, these are really nice too. You all see. And another French. Similar to the ones I just... Oh, hold on. I gotta click the viewfinder. Similar to the ones I just took off, but I feel like I'm gonna like these better. The other ones were really, really short. Love these and love the length. And the black one is like a clear tip, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I just collect press on nails at this point. They're like one or two dollars. And I love putting them on, soaking them off, whatever, and having the ease of 
whether or not I want to wear them or want to snatch them off real quick. Um, but yes, let me go ahead and put these tiles on the wall or at least start looking at how it's or seeing how it's going to come out. And then I'm going to film a saw. Okay, so this area is really, really cute. Now, I might get one more pack of the tiles just to have one more row. Well, column over there and row down here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I have to make sure I only need one more pack to achieve that. Then, I did some test shots like some pictures to see if it will fit the frame and they actually came out kind of cute so yeah um i do have to i have two more packs which will fit up there two more i'm assuming two more rows of that up there get unready with me makeup routine because or makeup removal skincare routine because i haven't shown you guys one i'm not gonna say ever but I'm definitely gonna say recently I have not shown y'all one. Oh, LTK posts on everything I use when I am getting unready. So all my skincare as well as my little handcuffs so water don't slide down my arm. Like I got all of it, the headband and all. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead, get the water hot. I know people be like, turn the water off, turn the water off. It has to get warm, people. But while that's doing that, I like to come over here, cleansing balm. This is by Hymish, but I've also used another one. I can't think of the name right now, but this is the one I have been using. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it's, it's getting a little low. It's getting a little low. Dang, what is the other one I used? I don't even remember. So, let me just take that. So the next thing I do, I use these sometimes, the Clean Skin Club, because I'm getting makeup on it. But you can see this is dirty too because I've been getting makeup on it, but whatever. Um, those are like one-time use. Well, I use them multiple times and one makeup removal. So I take one of those usually or one of these, which are from Timo, and it comes on a roll. I forget how many are on each roll. But the roll just get a little gets a little dirtier because I have makeup on my hands and I'm touching the roll. But you want to go ahead and wet it, which is why I like to get the water pre-warm. So whether you're using this towel or the Clean Skin Club, however, the CSC those are bigger than the Timo ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and warm or wet that with warm water. It's not super warm, but whatever. Um, and what I like to do in this step is like I already melted the makeup. Then I take a little micellar and squeeze it onto like that so it's fully saturated. And wipe away the makeup. I literally wear makeup maybe once a week sometimes two times very rare <laughs> three times but i used to wear makeup all the time and it was because i was in school and i had like hyperpigmentation or my facial hair was regrowing it just was different things and i would just feel uncomfortable but now you know i fully work from home um, you know, I do have contact with people, especially baby, but she's definitely like my rock. Like she's understanding of everything. She never judges, never says, oh, your hair is going back. You look disgusting. Like she has never done that. So um, she's very understanding. She calls me, you know, gorgeous, beautiful, whatever, even with facial hair. Like she does not care, but I, I know in school, I was just now getting used to it, didn't know the cause of it, 
and was like, you know, what's going on? Going in with the setter fill, I like to do a balm, micellar, then a gel cleanse. I don't know if I told y'all, but my um, nose ring fell out like a month and a half ago, or maybe somewhere around there. My nose ring fell out, and I never got a new one or got it repaired or found the one that fell out. And I was okay with it because doing my skincare is so much easier. Doing my makeup, I don't have to do it around it. So, honestly, I didn't even care after like that day. And I'm going to go in with my hirsutism oil. This is what has helped to slow the hair growth, people. This has helped it. Um, I feel like my spearmint tea and or capsules has helped. I'm literally at the bottom of this bottle. And to let y'all know I'm not playing. Literally have a new bottle ready to be opened over here and a new bottle in my drawer because I like to buy things in multiples and not run out. So when I was running out, I went and got another two of these and still a little corner left. So we're going to get our money's worth. I might have put too much. I'm not going to hold you like I did go overboard. Now, the owner told me I should do that first before I do my toner. I know some people were like, they want to do their toner first. This is the ordinary glycolic acid. Um, some people do prefer to do their toner first. But for me, I don't wipe my toner. I just pat, 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 pat my toner on top. After that, serum. Um, and this is the grow. This stuff right here. I actually have been liking it. I, it was in my purse, my little makeup travel bag. So I was like, oh, I don't want to open the other one. I need to just go get it. Being lazy, I didn't use it in like a week or two. But I love snail mucin. Look at it. Ew. But I've, I got to remember that when I'm talking, it can go in my mouth. You see how it strings? But y'all... It tastes disgusting, you know, when stuff go on your lip and you taste it or go in your mouth. It tastes disgusting. But when I tell you this baby hydrates my face so well, they were on to something with that. They were on to something. I do love my snail mucin. And on top of that, I just do a little bit, like very little bit. This is bio oil in this battery. Battery? Look, so the air the AirPod battery thing popped up. So I was saying a bottle and battery together. In that bottle, I just have bio oil. And I just go on top with that. And that's it. That's my nighttime skincare. In the morning, it's really, really simple. Hirsutism oil, a gentle like foamy soap this is equate i have used another brand i don't remember what it was but it's like gentle and um sunscreen boy all right sunscreen i'm trying to think what else sunscreen hirsutism oil that foamy soap and that's pretty much it. Might do a little bio oil if I feel like it, but I'm definitely going to do this right here, which is a lip cream. So I use this one at night because it doesn't have any tint. This one in the daytime because it has a slight pink tint. So yeah, that's my skincare routine. And if I do one in the morning, I will show y'all that in another vlog. But this is PM if wearing makeup. If I'm not wearing makeup, that's when I'm doing all my exfoliating and stuff, which is just one extra step. But that is it. That is skincare. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Yes, ma'am. Get into the thrifty slave on it. 
of okay i just had to make sure i got into it because what support thrifty slay we're back we're better we're quicker and just better okay we're better Yesterday we filmed, today we are packing. So I have a few things from Amazon to show y'all, which is, I got this fan, which it, I was charging it earlier. It came at like, it was like overnight. So I think it has like six levels. Uh, five levels or something like that, six or five, I don't know. It's at 40% right now, so it's one of those that you can sit on a desk and have blowing on you. I hope it's not too big, though. I didn't know it would be that big, but I kind of knew because my aunt has one, so I should have known. You can put it on a necklace, and it came with a charger. So then also, I got this clear crossbody bag to wear to the events because you can't wear... Um, you know, if you have like a solid bag, it has to be small. So I was just hoping that this will fit in here and it does, but I'm gonna look on their site and see if you can even bring in like handheld fans. So that's that, I would have that. And then I would have my camera. Y'all saw how big the camera is, it's not big at all. So these two things came and it does fit crossbody because you know, sometimes you buy stuff online and like the crossbody, is all the way up here so now it's a chest bag so yeah this does work as a crossbody and i think i got black to have beige i wanted beige so bad but i think um the gear that we i think have to wear is a uh, black so then i also got this here which is just a pill container looks like that so this holds it all in place so it don't fall out but then when you take it down um, and sit it on a table or something, you can just lean it on the table like that. And it has the days of the week on here. So I'm only gonna need Thursday, Friday, Saturday to put my spearmint and my um, magnesium and vitamin D in there. So I'm still gonna take the whole case because I compare it from my phone or to my phone. It's really not much bigger than a phone so got that and then ooh, these just came and i was scared because you know amazon really oh that's something different oh wait hold on amazon really do be tripping and they have been tripping well they just been tripping this past two weeks and i was like i hope this stuff comes on wednesday I need it ASAP. So this is for my car. And the other company that I had before, they're sending another one out. Um, but I'm gonna see how this one works right now when I go fill up my car and go to the ATM. But what I did get was two things I can put 
in my travel suitcase or hygiene bag without having to keep taking out. So the first thing is a water pick because I was like, um, what am I gonna do? And this won't be for like uh, on the plane. And I had the option to get on the plane. Y'all probably like, why are you driving? I had the option to get on the plane, but because I'm used to driving, we're riding to Jersey, driving to Jersey, uh, going to, I went to, y'all know Alabama a couple times. So I'm not like opposed to, you know, driving long distances. I prefer it. I like long trips and I'm just not really, I'm not acquainted with the plane yet. So I'm not going to say I'm necessarily scared, but I just haven't done it. But this one is battery operated and this is a water pick. And it's just stuff like this where I love to just have my car and have everything I need in my car. Like, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but it's what I like. So comes with two replacement heads for the water pick part. It is battery operated and it has two levels. And I actually got this and my toothbrush for free because Amazon been effing up for the past two weeks. So I had a $50 credit. And I think this was 20 and I think this was 30. So, and it came today. Like I got it, I ordered it at 12 noon and it came at 3.30. So they must've been tired of me calling and texting cause I have, and I ordered something for my little cousin. And why they, why today they deliver it to a wrong address. I'm just like, Amazon, I speak so highly of you. Are you getting too big for your own britches? So then I got a white toothbrush. Now I had pink, but I wanted my traveling dental stuff to match. So I got white and I got the white water pick as you see. This must be extra heads. So this is toothbrush heads. This is, I think, the charger. I'm gonna charge all of this, put the batteries and all of that in tonight. No, this is more heads. This is the charger. I'm gonna do all of that tonight. And then the actual case um, comes with a toothbrush and more heads. How many heads? So these are the two that will be going in my case, my suitcase, my hygiene pack, because like I said, this is another reason why I just prefer to go in a car. I could just have everything I need, not worrying about limitations and checking bags and all of this other stuff. So that's it, that's all I got from Amazon. Let me go, what I'm about to do is fill up the car, get some gas, go to the ATM and see if this car thing works better than my other one. Then when I come back, I'm going to finish in this room, the filming room, the little wall. I got the step stool downstairs. So I'm gonna finish putting the, what is it? 11 or 12, 12 panels up on the wall. And I'm gonna go on Timu and order one more pack of the black and white floor tile. And that's pretty much that. That is all I'm doing. Unless Amazon has it for around the same price. Then I'll just get it from Amazon because at least I know it'll be a little bit quicker than Timu. Yeah. My, I think it was Ani Nice, Onance, Onance, whatever it was. That one stopped working. I think they're going to send another one out. But I might just ask for a refund, to be honest. But this one right here, I guess this is the brand. This one is like, yes, yes, please. Once I exit out of this and I'm going to get, um, once I get to the gas station or something, I will show y'all. Well, matter of fact, I'll just show y'all right here. I didn't want to exit out, but... I'm gonna show y'all like the interface, I guess we call it. I'm not sure. This is how it looks. This one, you can actually watch Netflix, whereas, what's on the other side? Oh, this one has Prime Video, Spotify Lite, Disney Plus, 
and you can cast it whereas i had this one try this one out i'm returning it okay this one was just like it's just a cast and it just was not it <laughs> it was not it the one i have right here it looks like a little box and that's what it looks like and it just sits in there i think i already showed y'all the retractable um little cords so love that and that box is plugged into like the cigarette lighter thing but yeah this is super dope um it's cars coming so that's why i have like my hazards on if it's annoying y'all i apologize but like i showed y'all i was in bluetooth not bluetooth i was in youtube and youtube i do need to change that i don't like the military time i prefer the other one um but yeah i had um i did the cast it's okay i believe you can click here and have the car play interface but if you are in the car play i want to say that it might take off your wi-fi so you off of my address and stuff um but this is the regular car play interface y'all already should be or may be familiar with it if you are wondering yes you can drive technically and watch a video um I, the only reason look i i am saying in this video do not drive and watch video okay no distractions personally i watch podcast style videos and documentaries so i do not need to look at my screen okay but it is nice to be able to stop at a red light and look down at your tv whatever like i understand i'm just like i know you can have the vehicle moving and the video playing hold on hold on but they try to copyright strike me um at the car wash again but you know you want a road trip you gotta get the fresh car wash you gotta go to the atm you gotta fill up your car which we did honey so yeah i'm chilling now um i already cleaned out the back seat and when i get out of here i'm gonna uh vacuum and clean my mats on the other side um definitely need to either return this or do like a giveaway i mean it just was like a a little screen mirror and it just wasn't what i was really interested in like i wanted the whole shebang you know so yeah that's that i'm gonna also read the instructions of this to see if i can do any more cool things before i throw them away and yeah we just chilling now but like i was saying i will say my area looks way cleaner with no cords nothing sticking out um just more space love that again got the little pull out retractable thingies i don't really think i'm gonna use a USB-C one but i'm definitely gonna use the iphone one so yeah love that for us because i'm definitely gonna put y'all on i think i already linked this stuff but if i haven't linked this i will it's me testing different light ends to see if i like it but i think i'm really with the vlog camera okay i think it's really cute of course the dogs is crying Okay, y'all, so I sped through this part because I was talking excessively and it would have been like another 30 minutes. So here in my hygiene bag, I was able to fit my toothbrush, my water flosser, my face soap, my body soap, and then my certifying body wash, body deodorant, and the cream. Then I got my bathroom sprays because those are a must. Uh, what else? Some Q-tips and some sunscreen, some body oil, and I put my bonnet and my edge band on top. So here in my clear bag, I just wanted to have essentials like my fan, my face mist, uh, sunscreen, and then I was going to put my wallet. Now for nails, <laughs> this part, I just took so long doing everything, but I was trying to find blue nails to go with the outfit and I went ahead and chose like the, it's kind of like an 80s, not 80s, early 2000s type style. I was struggling <laughs> with trying to close this, but I got it done nonetheless and I also found another pair I was like oh I could have used those instead but I just stuck with the ones that I wore this weekend so here I am I got this suitcase a while ago from 
Marshalls, I believe, or Home Goods or TJ Maxx. You know, one of those stores, okay? So I always put like my shoes and my uh, makeup bag and my hygiene bag on this side with the net. So the reason I put the hygiene, not makeup, dang, why am I all over the place right now? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I am tired and I'm, I'm ready to go to bed, clearly. But I put my makeup bag sitting up because on the other side, it saved more room. And then on the other side, I just packed the light in that area so that it will close correctly. So also over here, I put my vitamins. I put some extra hair in case my twist wanted to fall out, but my twist did not fall out. I put my beach towel and then like underclothes. So some Yiddy shapewear, my strapless bra, my portable bidet, you know, all of that good stuff. And then my headphones and I decided to... I guess I didn't put my brow over there. I think I tucked it on the other side because I wanted to give my hair clips cushion so it wouldn't break, so they wouldn't break. And then over here, I just part started putting pajamas and also some swimwear. Even though I did not get in the pool, y'all, I didn't have time. I packed a lot of blue because our jerseys had blue in it. And the orange outfit that I'm putting in there now is actually what I'm wearing tonight. I wore it to take myself out to dinner and did some content. So yeah, I'm just packing the rest of my stuff and that is it for this part. So I'm going to go feed the dogs and then I am going to edit Ace off and start my pasta dinner and that'll be that. I'm going to start working on this vlog, but I can always just edit there as well when I get there because I feel like I'm going to be super early. So I'll just work on my vlog. But even if I don't finish editing my vlog tonight or when I get there, I'm coming back Saturday so I can still edit Sunday morning and have it still go up tomorrow. So, well, not tomorrow, but Sunday when you're actually seeing this. So thank y'all so much for joining this vlog. I will see y'all in the next one, which will include the actual trip. It will have another, but we'll have another one, which will be my reset. Um, you'll probably see the reset from after my trip before you see the actual trip vlog, if that makes sense, because the trip one does have to have like approvals and things like that. But so does the reset anywho i will see y'all later talk to y'all later thank you for joining this week's vlog i need to pack my purse grab my sandals and go over my checklist